in there. Open up. Or so help me, I will keep knocking on this door. Open up. Do you not have a peek, would you cut it out? Clint, I had no idea you were in town. Now I get it. What are you talking about? I know why Vicky stood me up. It's because she's doing whatever it is that she does when the two of you get together these days. Stood you up? Oh, it's nothing, nothing. It's just, just, just a small matter of my wedding. Oh, Clint, please, please, please make her disappear. What? It would be my great pleasure. Hold on. No, don't you do this. You put me down. All right. That Open up! I am not going away, Vicky! I am not! I want to see Vicky. The only reason this door is open is because Vicky owns this house and she asked me to open it. She knows what she did to me today. No matter what Vicky says, if you keep pounding on this door, I'm gonna put you on this shoulder and take you out to that curb and leave you there with the garbage. Get it? Got it. Good. Did you convince her to stand me up at my wedding? Hmm? I don't give a damn about your wedding. What I care about is my family. Now, you could be nice. Yes. Please, sir. May I see Vicky? Oh, please. White was an interesting choice for you today. It's Bois de Rose. Well, Vicky, have you got any idea of the humiliation that I suffered today? Hmm? I'm sorry. Right. If you need backup, give me a holler. Thank you, I will. Dorian, I, I told you weeks ago, what, that I was It was bad be... enough when you stood me up at my bachelorette party. Well, I paid for it. What does money matter? I wanted you to stand beside me on my wedding day. I wanted us to put our problems in the past, in the past, where they belong. I wanted us to heal old wounds. Oh, for God's sake, you know what I wanted. But no, 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 no. You, you didn't show up. You weren't there. And to make it worse, you don't care. Wait a minute. This is not about me, is it? Yes. It is all about you. No, it is not, because you're standing here making a scene instead of dancing at your reception. Oh, my God, Dorian, what happened? <laughs> the wedding didn't happen, did it? Do you have any idea how it feels to look this fabulous and be humiliated in front of people that <laughs> You've just been waiting to get even with. What happened? Well, I didn't get married. That's what happened. Why? You're going to have to ask David that. Oh, my God, I'm so sorry. Oh, you're so sorry. You're so sorry. Is that all you can say? Well, I don't know. What else do you want me to say? It's your fault! That's what you can say! Admit it! What? David stands you up and it's my fault? Works for me. Why? Because this is exactly the kind of personal tragedy and public humiliation that you have wished on me ever since I was married to your father. Please stop, 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 stop. It wouldn't... Oh what? What? It wouldn't surprise me. If you knew about it all along. Yes, that you knew David was going to do this to me. And so that's why you stayed away, to further rub salt into the wound. That doesn't even make sense. If I wanted to see you humiliated, I would have been there to see you be humiliated. You know what? You're not going to drag me into this, OK? I'm truly, truly sorry that this has happened. That's all I'm going to say. Oh, really? So if you can't handle this discussion, why don't you call out Nikki or Wiki or one of your other 67 personalities? That's it! You get out of my house right now, or being left at the altar is going to seem like the fun part of your day. I hope you're not threatening me. Do not make jokes about D.I.D. Get off it! I mean, you're 
recovered, you're completely cured, you can have your ex-husband in for cozy little visits. But my world just fell in on me today, and you don't care. Marion, I tried to explain to you why I could not be a part of your wedding. You were perfect. The non-existent matron of honor for the non-existent wedding. Jessica has DID. I have just found out that my daughter is suffering from DID. If you make a joke about it now, I swear to God I will throw you out. Vicky, I never dreamed. Yeah, neither did I, okay? And that's why Clint is here now. That's why I didn't come to your wedding. That's why I neglected to call and explain it to you. This was not about hurting you, Dorian. This was because my daughter is in agony. And she's that way because of me. Vicki, I'm so sorry. And I am sincerely sorry for what happened at your wedding. I really thought that I'd be spending the rest of my life with David. Yeah, it seemed that way to me. You thought we'd be happy together, didn't you? I certainly hoped you would be. You know, you never know for sure. But if you don't take a chance with your heart... Oh, right now, I'm wishing I'd kept mine a little closer to the vest. <laughs> you look absolutely gorgeous. But I think you'll feel a lot better once you get out of that dress. I have been on a bit of a tear. Is everything okay? Yeah, thank you. Vicky just told me about Jessica, and I'm really very sorry. What happened to me today is nothing compared to that. Is Jessie all right? She's asking for you. Oh, okay, thank you. Excuse me. Thanks. Clint. I just need, um... To pull myself together, I'd, I'd really like to stay here for a little bit by myself. Okay. Fabric. Mm -hmm. 